Loudplay is a cloud gaming service that is located in Russia, and we define Loudplay as a credit-based cloud gaming PC rental service similar to Shadow and Maximum Settings. PC rental services offer a fully functional Windows PC based in the cloud that allow you to install and run any game or software that you would on your home PC. So what does Loudplay power their service with? Is it worthy of your gaming time? Well, we're going to run a full PC benchmark on the Loudplay system. This benchmark will be the general stats for the overall PC performance using PC Mark 10 and then a gaming benchmark using 3D Mark. We'll also run an in-game benchmark on Far Cry 6 just to see how things run on a modern game. Stay tuned. Loudplay just recently upgraded their services to support 1080p gameplay, so I have included both the old Loudplay specs and the new ones. I'll do a compare and contrast with both to see the differences. Let's start with the old Loudplay specs first. Loudplay's PC specs are generally pretty high on the cloud gaming standards compared to many other platforms, except in certain aspects. We'll get more into that later. But here are the PC specs of the Loudplay PC we are currently running. And right out the gate, Loudplay starts to impress us with having users not using Home, not Pro, but Windows 10 Enterprise as their operating system. The Intel Xeon Gold 6132 is a pretty decent server CPU with 14 cores and 28 threads clocking in at 2.6 GHz. The initial benchmark performance stats for this CPU puts it higher than its competitor, Shadow. Impressive. It has an impressive single thread rating which is important for gaming. Now Loudplay has about 28 gigs of RAM installed in their machines, which 4.5 gigs is being used for the virtualization process. Now for the GPU, it's running an NVIDIA Grid Tesla P40. Now we covered the P40 before, and it's generally a workstation's graphics card for up to 6 profiles from 12 to 24 virtual users. You can compare the power you'll get on a Tesla P40 to that of a GTX 1070 or 80. Now for the overall PC score from PC Mark 10. Unfortunately, it's a pretty low score with a score of 3184. It's much lower than the shadow benchmark we performed, about 2,000 points lower. Now for the real test, the test you came for. How did the graphics score? Uh, yep, you're seeing this correctly. This is 12 FPS? Yeah. The Tesla P40 is the same GPU Boosteroid is using, and it generally underperforms in gaming because it's two generations behind in graphics hardware. It's running the Pascal architecture. This is the main culprit of bad gaming performance you'll get while playing on Loudplay. Would you like to see an example of bad performance in a modern game? Well, here's the in-game benchmark in Far Cry 6. Now granted, this is at high graphics quality. When we run the benchmark again at low quality, we get a 21. Oh. Okay, so that didn't make much of a difference. And what's shocking is that this is not even at 1080p. Now let's get into 1080p with the brand new hardware they have running on their machines. Here are the specs of the new machines Loudplay is now running. Yes, this is quite the upgrade. Let's check this hardware out and see how it compares with the old hardware. Now Loudplay is still using Windows 10 Enterprise, which I have no problem with. So Loudplay is now running an AMD EPIC CPU. The AMD EPIC 7302 processor has 16 cores and 32 threads, clocking in at 3 GHz. Now the initial benchmark comparison versus the old PC, the Intel Gold 6132, is a massive improvement. They have also increased RAM from 28 to 32 gigs with 3.6 gigs being used for virtualization processes. Here's another vast improvement. Loudplay upgraded their GPUs to a ray tracing compatible card, the Nvidia RTX 6000P. You can compare this workstation graphics card to an RTX 2080. This is a major improvement over the Tesla P40s that they were using before. 
So does this new hardware setup run much better than the old setup? Let's see in 3D Mark. <laughs> We're pushing 30 guys! <laughs> it's an improvement, but not much. I was expecting at least 60 FPS here with this kind of equipment, not just a 10 to 15 FPS increase. It seems like they have a bottleneck somewhere in this system. I'm not sure where, but this new hardware shouldn't be performing this bad. It's better than shadows for God's sakes. Now I'll try a game benchmark using an even more up-to-date game, Riders Republic. And right off the bat, it seems like virtual RAM is being pushed to the max. This might be part of the issues as RAM might be spread out too thin. Let's take a look at the findings. Oh wow, it looks like this is a CPU problem. With the CPU at 100% utilization and the GPU only at 71, the CPU is being overloaded and can't maximize GPU output. The bottleneck is real. While it's good to see that Loudplay is actively upgrading their tech, I'm concerned that it might be not good enough to handle the new games and software. They have to find the bottleneck and generally improve their infrastructure to compete with the likes of GeForce Now, Stadia, and Shadow. We'll be looking forward to see additional improvements Loudplay has to offer down the line. If you like this benchmark of Loudplay, give us a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on Cloud Gaming at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.